Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, we're going to see how we can use this cell meet 8. This is a device and once you receive it also, you'll get an English and Chinese manual. So this is the package for the cell meter. So cell meter 8. So this is the cell meter. This has uh, multiple features. The first one is to measure uh, each cell of the battery. The second feature is to discharge. And also the third one is to test the servo and ESC. So we have three buttons here, type, cell, mode. And also underneath we have other um, label. It says setup, servo test, discharge. So uh, when you press it short, it will apply the big one. When you press it longer, it will apply the small one, which I'm going to show you next. On this side, we have eight connection. That is for um, the battery discharge cable connector. So it can measure uh, up to eight cell or discharge up to eight cell. Here, this port is for nickel cadmium. This is for lithium batteries and this is for nickel cadmium which has two ports, so you have to prepare it with a servo type cable. So you must have a cable, something like that, to test the uh, nickel cadmium battery. On this side, we have, uh, again, the servo connection uh, port for testing servo and ESCs. And also here is a knob that is used for uh, servo test uh, parameter. So let me connect the battery here. So this is a three cell battery. The cell zero starts here, it says negative. So you have to put the connections usually on one side and this is black. So usually it should be black. From this side, come this way. So if I connect this now, So now, uh, because we have connected here, automatically LiPo will be turned on. But from here, you can select lithium ion or LiPo, which is LiPo at the moment. Uh, then it measures the cells and also it shows that we have three cells. So in case if we have four cells, you will see the four cell. And also uh, now if you want to check each cell, so this, the job of this was to change the type, lithium and lithium ion and then lithium polymer. The job of this one is to check each cell. So this shows that the cell 1 is 4.189, 91%. So cell 2 is 4.175, cell 3 is 4.178 and so forth. So it just rotates. If you don't touch it for a few seconds, it returns to the all cells voltage. After that, we have the mode here. So if you do the mode, it shows the total voltage. Now, this one will go and check whichever cell has the maximum will be displayed here. And then the next press will go to the minimum, which is in this case is cell one. And the third one is the subtraction of this maximum, minimum from maximum, and that is 60 millivolts. So this is 100 millivolts, 10, 1 millivolts, and the volt is here. So this is 60 millivolt difference between cell 1 and cell 3. It will tell you. If you press it again, it will return back. So let's see what we read. So now it shows cell 2 is a maximum and cell 3 is minimum. And the previous one was cell 1. The difference is 14 millivolts or 13 millivolts. I have another battery which is 2 cell. I'm going to connect it here. So 2 cell battery is connected. Now it shows cell 1 and cell 2 and 7.6 volts. Now th this battery is 38%, so 
So let's check the self. 3.n1, that's a maximum, one of them. 3.16, wow, this is very close, it's one millivolt. One millivolt difference. And that's how it returns back. Now let's see how we can discharge a battery. To discharge a battery, just hold this for more than a second and the discharge will beep and it will discharge all the cells. So it continuously shows cell one and then it goes to cell two, cell three, and it goes until it discharges the battery for you and will make beep. Exit, just press type and you are out. Now let me show you how we can test the servo. So for the servo we need to connect a 5 volts here and the servo that's being tested should be connected here. For that purpose I have an ESC which gives me 5 volts from the back here. So I'm going to connect it to the battery and here I have 5 volts. So some of the servos have some edge, so it can prevent it from interact incorrectly, but this one doesn't, so I can connect it in reverse polarity. Because the positive is at the middle, it will not burn it. But the negative is on the other side, and this is a signal, so the black should be on that side. So when you in enter it here, that the device assumes that this is nickel metal hydrate or nickel cadmium. To go to the servo, now here we have to press the servo, but I have not connected any servo here. So I'm going to connect the servo. The servo here, the signal is on the other side and negative is on this side. So the darker color is the servo. So the servo is now connected, just press this for longer a second. Now it goes to the, uh, this is the microsecond as it shows. So, so when I rotate it, it goes to the minimum 500 and back to maximum. So you can test your servo and see where it goes. Now when you're in servo mode, PPM, so, so you can just press it once more, then it goes automatically from minimum to maximum to all values. Now if I press this again, it goes at the middle. This is where the for the stick of uh, some devices that you're flying for airplane and stuff. So this knob will be disabled. It just goes at the middle so you can find always the middle uh, movement of your servo. That's nice. And the third one is now it goes back to the manual mode. So it has, it has manual, middle, and automatic test. I have a little powerful servo here. This is metal gear servo. Very heavy, but when I connect it, it just goes off because the current protection of this one is just preventing it. So now so that's good but when I go for the automatic you see it shuts off so it cannot handle higher current or servo with higher power. So now I have connected the battery to 
the ESC and it's connected to the motor and I'm gonna connect this here to the servo tester here so we are at the manual mode So we can test also the response of ESC. So we can test the response of ESC and see um, not only the ESC, also we can test our motor to see at what value the motor starts rotating. As you can see, 1500 and something. 15 is a, an average, and then it's just 1584 or 1600. So you can test and you see if ESC is okay or not. Or maybe just go next one, which goes automatically. And just exit, it goes at the middle, which the motor stops. I've covered everything except the setup menu. So from the setup menu, if you press it and wait for a few seconds, it shows the discharge value for each cell. So at what value you want the discharge to go because the charge will be 4.2, 4.1 volts and it goes down. At what level you want to stop because the LiPo battery will get hurt. So default is 3.7, it's up to you to go maybe lower or whatever you want. So the value can be changed with these two. You see, it goes with a 10 millivolts increment. And then after that, this is a, for the passive modulation, this is a frequency 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 100 hertz, depending on the type of servo, you can select your desired value. And here, this is the microsecond for the pulse. Here it shows high, low. From here you can select 1000, you see, when H is there that's 2000, the L is 1000, it goes between 1000 and 2000. If I go back here now, it's so high is 2500, low is 500, so you can change it to uh, um, few of those values and then when I press this again it goes LED time so because uh, the light starts this will take some time for if you don't touch it any button for example for discharge that LED light will go off in shorter periods for example if I go 10 let me exit so then it says a beep beep can be off now you see it doesn't work until on and then exit so now it's 10 seconds after 10 seconds it, uh, this backlight will turn off well that's it so thank you for watching this was introduction to cell meter 8 you can get this from amazon from aliexpress or ebay between mm, 10 to 20 dollars and it's a nice device and I believe if you're flying or if you're using a lot of LiPo batteries and uh, remote cars or drones, this is a must-have device. Please thumb up the video and also share it and subscribe if you're interested to get updates of my upcoming videos.